A Columbus man is arrested for attempted murder after setting a home on fire while two people were inside. On Saturday, May 25th, around 2.17 a.m., Lowndes County E911 received a call about a disturbance at 2236 Highway 373. Deputies were told that the person causing the disturbance would not leave and said he was going to burn the house down and kill the people inside. Deputies were also told the su subject had discharged a firearm into the air. This disturbance had been ongoing for several days. While deputies were speaking with the complainant, another person called 911 to report that the house was fully engulfed in flames. When deputies arrived on the scene, they found two people who had escaped the burning house. The victims described the suspect as a thin 5'10 Hispanic male with short black hair. The victim said they did not know the subject's real name, but called him Paco. The victim said that he told them they better open the door. When they refused, Paco stated he was going to burn the house down and kill them. They ended up crawling out of the house after it was set on fire. Paco left the scene in a white truck. Both victims were not injured. Several hours later, a deputy was in the area of the residence. He noticed a white Ford F-150 truck with an individual who matched the description of the subject. The deputy initiated a traffic stop on the vehicle and the subject was identified as 45-year-old William Mendoza. The deputy arrested Mendoza for running a red light, no driver's license, and no insurance. Officials later found he had a small handgun and is a convicted felon. Mendoza also had methamphetamine in his possession. He, attempt, he admitted to setting the house on fire. Mendoza was then charged with two counts of attempted murder. His bond was set at $100,000 for each count.